What's it like being in this offense? Fun. Simple answer. Um, yeah. It's uh, it's been really cool um, to see it from a firsthand perspective. See everything that goes into it, um, and then you know watching uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday practice really come alive uh, on Sunday. It's it's been it's been awesome. Actually, every every week takes on its own personality with the team you're facing, no matter the record. But when you face a team like this coming up on Sunday night, the atmosphere that's expected, mm -hmm. obviously they're one of the best teams in the league. What's that like in preparation, knowing that kind of game is coming up? It's fun. Um, you know, I, I don't think it changes our preparation whatsoever. Um, you know, the preparation really uh, starts and ends with, with us um, and what we're trying to do and how we go about executing things. Uh, but, you know, these are, these are the games you, you always circle, you always look forward to. Um, you know, it's a Sunday night. It's a big game against a, a really good team. And, um, you know, it's, a, it's obviously a benchmark game. Your first two answers, you know, I guess the key word is fun. What's not so fun are Philly fans. <laughs> talked to some of your teammates yesterday in the locker room. They all said they're not looking forward to that. Your thoughts on Philly fans? No, it's fun. That's, I mean, you, 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 go, you go on road games uh, expecting not to be liked. Um, and then I guess it's a little bit different of the feeling when, when you know that you're hated. Um, so that's, again, that's, that's pretty fun to me. You know, they're known to throw things at Santa Claus, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That, you know, if I was Santa Claus, that wouldn't be so fun. But luckily, I won't be dressed up like that Sunday. What, uh, what, would, a mean, what, a win, what would a win mean for this team in the broader sense? Obviously, there's just one of 17. But going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the defending NFC champs would mean what yeah no absolutely um they're a great team and i think you said it. it's it's one of 17 um you know it would the, there are no moral victories they all count the same um wins and losses each game um you know and honestly the the week after that is gonna be the same regardless if if it's uh one way or another um so obviously you, you go in there wanting to win and uh we're, we're gonna learn a lot from it either way and, and move on to the next game you came here a polished player, Braxton, but your big takeaway from working with Wes, what, what, how, how has your game evolved? What, what sort of guidance has he given you that's helped? You know, honestly, a lot. Um, and I think I've said this before, but, you know, it's one thing for a coach to, uh, to talk about it, right, and to correct it on film. It's another to talk about it, correct it on film, and then pull up clips of himself doing it on film. And, you know, that's something that not many coaches around the, the league can do uh, at their respective position. And then, you know, um, you know he, he made so many plays and did so many great things in his career and played for so long that literally he, he has a clip of him doing just about everything and every which way against every coverage. So it's, it's really cool and it's helped me see, uh, see the game, um, you know, a, a little bit slower. And I think, you know, as, as you... Uh, as you gain that knowledge and the game slows down, you, you can play a little bit faster. You might have been asked this question sometime in the past four or five years, but how often just growing up, even as a teenager at UM, would you ever look at Wes Welker clips sort of as a studying tool? Was you know, that something I, which you ever did? I, I didn't. Yeah. I didn't. You know, I, I was a huge football fan. I grew up a Dolphins fan. So, you know, of course, like, you know, I, I've seen him play, but, you know, I, uh, I, I was a football fan and I, I watched everybody. I really tried not to... Uh, Try not to pick from from certain people, but from everybody. Surprised. How rare is it in this offense? You look around the league; even the best of offenses struggle at times and have games where they don't produce. You fall behind fourteen nothing, a perfect example yesterday. It almost seems like nobody seems to care in the sense of like any panic. How rare is that at this level, where you just know, hey, we're going to get back in this and score points? Yeah, you know, honestly, that was a uh, that was, that was a good piece of adversity for us. Um, and when you sit on that bench and you look around, that's exactly how it felt. Nobody flinched, nobody panicked. Um, you know, we, we knew we, we, we didn't execute in the way that we were supposed to. And, you know, the, the kind of guys that we have on this offense, you know, we knew that wasn't going to last the entire game. And, um, you know, to, to go three and out one series, uh, you know, shocking to go three and out two series, a little bit more than that. And then again, you know, we, we had an explosive play, got back on track, and then, you know, it kind of, it, it just, everything restarted. And we, we flushed the two series down the drive and, or down the drain, and, you know, the, the rest of them worked out pretty well. Who in your position groups in charge of getting fluids and Tyreek Hill? <laughs> Everybody now. <laughs> Everybody. As long as it's a cramp, we'll be all right. What's your impression of uh, Chase Claypool? Since yeah, no, honestly, he's been great. Um, obviously, trying to trying to figure everything out, asking as many questions as he can, um, and you know, pr producing in practice. It's uh, it's been good having him as a teammate.
Got asked you about the Canes. Uh, what are your thoughts on uh, the state of the U right now? <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna video this after that as well. Um, you know, it's 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 tough. It's tough. You know, you had a you had a brutal loss two weeks ago, and you know they had a, a good first half uh, up in Chapel Hill, and then you know kind of kind of lost it from there. Um, but you know, I, I do have all confidence in Cristobal, and they're they're gonna figure it out. Were you watching the brutal loss two weeks ago? Honestly, I was not. Not at the end. Um, my my dad was was on a flight. He was coming down for our game, and so I, I woke up to a text from him, um, and that's how I kind of found out he was he was not happy. And so I I, I looked on uh, Google of what happened, and pretty stunned. Was it a good thing that you weren't watching? That? It was absolutely a good thing. I was I was focused on my own game, um, and that that might have thrown me off a little bit. <laughs>